one of the things that's because we haven't Congress hasn't been able to agree on appropriations for the current fiscal year. We've been operating under something called a continuing resolution. I was wondering if you could explain explain a little bit to the listeners what a CR is and sort of what are the the pros and cons of of a continuing resolution. You know, is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Sure. So um, as I mentioned earlier, um, ostensibly Congress is supposed to complete work on the appropriations process before October first, which is when the government's fiscal year begins. Um, if and when, um, and now it's always when, it doesn't um, do that. Uh, it can, to sort of keep the lights on, uh, pass what we call a continuing resolution, which generally just keeps things going at the same levels that they were at before. Um, uh, I think sort of keeping the lights on is a is a good way um, a good way to think about it. Um, and this is preferable to say a government shutdown. Um, I, I think we would all agree that um, you know if the alternative is that um, federal functions uh, cease and uh, Americans who rely on federal government services um, that are funded through the discretionary appropriations process can't access them, um, that that's sort of the worst case scenario. Um, but um, continuing resolutions also aren't a great way to govern. Um, first of all, they um, uh, because they usually operate for just a short period of time, they increase they add even more uncertainty into the um, into the process. Um, and so, you know, last um, last September, we saw sort of Congress pass one at basically the eleventh hour um, at the very end of September that ran through the middle of November, basically guaranteeing that there was going to be at least one more. Uh, showdown over uh, whether to uh, to keep the government open. And then in the middle of November, they passed one that uh, they sort of won in two parts that take that is taking us um, now into 2024. So they um, they create a lot of uncertainty. Um, and then for agencies themselves, there are often um, a lot of limits on what they can do when they're operating under a CR. And um, among them, they generally can't start new programs that they or new um, initiatives that they didn't have going in the previous year. And so if you're an agency and you really want to be able to respond to the changing needs of the country, and you're really locked in to whatever choices the Congress had made in the previous year, the longer you're operating under a CR, the harder it is for you to have that flexibility to make those changes and make new choices that, you know, reflect the changing needs um, of the country. I'm curious, um, e either I'm ignorant and I don't pay attention much to the news, or this is unusual. I don't see any other developed nation, you know, constantly running headlines about, oh no, the government is going to shut down. Is is that correct? Are we like a, a, a weird outlier here? <laughs> uh, yes. I, I am also not aware of other um, countries that have this particular um, uh, budget challenge. Um, one of the reasons why um, I think it is, I'll sort of give two reasons why it's such an acute problem in the U.S. right now. One of them is a structural run, which is a feature of our separation of powers system. And so in a lot of parliamentary systems, um, if the the government sort of moves to bring a budget through parliament and it fails, that's, you know, the downfall of the government. That's sort of they dissolve parliament and they have a they have a new election and like that sort of thing. And so that's not how our system works. You know, we have our fixed term elections and we have the possibility and increasingly the probability of the White House being controlled by one party and one or both houses of Congress being controlled by a different party. And so that kind of structural, um, those structural features of our system are one challenge. And then the other challenge is that in the current moment, this process, the appropriations process, bears so much of our political conflict. Um, and because it bears so much of our political conflict, it uh, is that much more likely to get um, paralyzed by, um, by gridlock and polarization.